Yeah, hi everybody out there. Um, this is just a short video about the results of this uh, whole USB, um, yeah, bi bidirectional communication protocol thingy I had in the first video, and I had some issues with. Um, I had a problem with my um, probe for the logic analyzer as well. <laughs> had to repair it as well. <clears throat> I was shortly before soldering out on the MCU because I thought the thing was, was dead until I realized it and yeah what are about uh, the results first I made it working and secondly I did it so within with good results I mean they're reasonably good um, the response time and this is USB are around 13, 14, 15 milliseconds. That's that's the result. Um, I was down to 10, but with 10 milliseconds, uh, well, it uh, tended to freak out every once in a while. <clears throat> and <clears throat> this is my tool. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, 14 milliseconds for the first one, and 17 for the second one. Um, let's capture another record let's do it um, okay this was, let's see and then let's talk about it a little, a little. if you're interested in the code um, you can go to my home page <coughs> check out the project which is feature complete by now and well check it out yourself um, the red uh, flow control line, the CTS line, this is the one controlled by the PC. That's the yellow line, signal line that is, is controlled by the AVR. And a low, a low on one of these lines indicates ready, a high indicates busy. Okay. Now this is the RX pin receive and this is seen from the AVR side of things so receive is what comes to the AVR and transmit the blue line is uh, what is sent by the AVR to the PC so you send you send your command right here and this is done first uh, when the AVR signals ready so then the AVR of course receives the data and once the PC has sent all data and took care about, hopefully care about the timing, it will then pull down its flow control line, which means, okay, now I am ready uh, to receive data from you. The AVR uh, generates an interrupt and starts processing the command, which, as you can see, the processing of the command here, uh, this would be before the blue signal even starts here this is uh, no time at all so uh, you don't even see it so then the AVR sends its response and once this is done here it now pulls down its flow control line again and says okay I'm now ready again to receive data from you short, a short while after the PC response of course by pulling up his flow control line again and this is a second command and this is the whole thing over again um, <clears throat> the critical timings are uh, here and here because uh, this is um, M the UART bridge I'm using has a transmit receive buffer and this buffer has a certain timing uh, timing that is a mystery on don't bother looking up the data sheet trying to find out something about it because it's probably a matter of um, well we, we cannot just give you any well let's say defined uh, specified timings I think no company would be crazy enough to do that with USB and that's a problem because before the transmission buffer of the UR bridge is emptied I cannot send uh, the control line command packet that is a packet because if I do so 
you can never know which packet comes first to the PC because that's a matter of how the USB, a USB stack handles it, a matter of how it uh, runs over hubs and, and, and all that. And the funny thing is, uh, this test case I'm, ha I'm having is not even the most simple one directly connected to the, to the PC but it runs over a hub and connected on that hub is uh, the logical analyzer that um, took those readings. So I'd say it's at least a, a, a test case that is a little more realistic than just doing the letter. So I think it's good enough. Although it's not definite. I mean, I guess every one, one of a whew, hundred, couple of hundred or so of commands will probably still fail because of that issue, but um, it's good enough, and it's fast enough, it's faster than I thought it could be. So, thank you for watching, and see you soon, hopefully.